I, I just love the way you could make your body move. And it was the, the actual, the, the challenge to do those things. It's an amazing experience to, to see Kim grow this club. Being the top club in Australia, Kim could command a good salary and a, she should be she should be quite wealthy. That's not what Kim's about. Colette was in a group higher than I was, so I always wanted to be Colette. We hit it off straight away. We both had a passion for gymnastics. She was in the advanced group and I was not in the advanced group. She had a huge passion for wanting to do well in gymnastics and wanting to see other young girls do well in gymnastics. I would watch people from other countries and people from other clubs, but I could never understand why they were so good at it and we weren't that very good. She saw that there was a gap, that there was no clinics, there was nothing open for girls under 10. It suddenly dawned on me that the training wasn't correct. I went to the local school, I needed a space, I asked if we could use the kindergarten rooms. But we needed a permanent gym where we didn't have to set up and put down. We started having meetings with council and we started looking around for what they would have available. This shed came up. It was dirty, no one had been using it. All the cobwebs was totally run down. Straight away we walked in and went, this space is great. Oh. We, we spent a lot of time on flexibility and splits and things like that. We started with thousands of handstands, thousands and thousands of basic techniques until they got the skill right. One of the first gymnasts that we had go through was Christy Wilson. Kim ended up putting Christy into the AIS. Kirsty Lee Brown, she was you know, 14 years old. She went to the 96 Olympics. She was the youngest Olympian at the time. Every club wants to have an Olympian. We had an Olympian. With, with the stats we've got of the many, many, many national champions and you know, Australian representatives. I'm proud of every single kid that's been able to come from the cow shed and compete at a world championships. Coming into the gym and her not being here because she was getting chemo, um, it was definitely hard. I was with her when she got the diagnosis. She rang me up and I went into the... <sighs> So I went in with her and that was really hard. It was actually very hard. Kim and I have gone through everything together, through babies, births. We've gone through everything all our whole life. We know everything about each other. We're very close friends. So that was very hard. At that point, we had to do chemo by myself and they would have this support lady and she could see I was very agitated and she said to me, it's okay, I understand chemo's really, really hard and you'll get through it. And I remember turning to her and said, oh, you know, chemo's nothing. I have to now tell, you know, three girls that their world championship dream is over. And she looked at me. I, I, I looked back at her and I said, these kids have worked really, really hard and they're, they're not going to be able to go to the world championships anymore. So basically it was over for them. And she looked at me and she said, I don't understand. And, and I said to her, you wouldn't understand. It was also good because you've seen people come back to the gym that hadn't been here for a while to help get us where we needed to be during that time.
it makes me teary thinking about it because every coach hopes that that's the club that they've developed. From word go, it was a family club. She sacrificed so much of her life for the kids to make sure the kids do well and they stay in the gym. She really is like a second mum for all of us. I still love what I do. I still love the kids. I still, you know, get excited when I see a kid make a skill. I know that the club will always keep moving. I just hope the gym will keep thriving and able to provide gymnastics to every single kid who, who wants to do it. And that everyone still maintains their passion for, for such a beautiful sport. If you have the right spirit and the kids have determination, you can succeed in an old little cow shed.